Hey guys, just sending out an alert. 39, here to that. Hey Marsha, how are you? Uh, let me uh, make sure my volume is down. And so, um, There we are. How are you guys? So, um, oops. I tell you, I was shopping and then I get frustrated, so I decided, hey, Lynn, I was, I'm gonna take some pictures of that mailbox swag. Um, I glued a lot of things down, so that really wasn't a lot of ways for me to add some stuff to it. But I think it's the lighting down here because when I look at it. Um, thanks, Marsha. When I look at it, I do like it, so I think we're going to be okay. So, I think it's going to be great. Let's see about some really sparkly red somewhere. Let's see. So anyway, sorry about that guys. So I've come to the conclusion that my husband had an idea for a, um, a ribbon rack um, that I would have to move some ribbon in order to you know, get to what I want. I don't know if I like that idea or not, but I am literally like pretty aggravated because I can't see all. Oh, thank you, Lynn. Um, I can't see all my ribbon, so it makes it very hard to shop and not get, you know, something duplicated, duplicated or similar than what I already have. And then, um, you know, it's really hard. I can't, I really need to like just to say, don't do it and save up my money and go shop at Sims so I can like feel it, touch it, see it, see the color. Because sometimes the color on the, in the picture online is not exactly what you get so anyway um when we do need to figure out a time um i'm on call this weekend but floyd is going to be at home um so if you wanted to set up some time to come and get your stuff this weekend that'll be fine it's up to you uh i may be here then again i may not so but floyd's having his surgery tomorrow so I know he's not going anywhere, he's staying home. So if you're wanting to set up some time to come and get that stuff, just let me know and I'll get it all ready for you. So anyway, so um, I was trying to figure out, I wanna make something, I looked through my stuff and I'm like, I am not buying any more things. I have plenty of stuff here, I need to figure out something with what I have. So that's what I'm doing. Hey Carrie, now you see me live, don't you? I'm actually making a, a, a Valentine's wreath. So it's going to be with burlap and then this red, um, and it has metallic um, stripes in it. But this sign says, um, I freaking love you. So I just thought this was a cute sign. I thought it would be really cute uh, on burlap. So here's my thought. I got this last year. It looks like I got it from Michael's. Um, of course, probably whenever it was on sale. Isn't that cute? 
see it. It's got the like chicken wire in it too. You can make that for any holiday, but I thought it was really cute for Valentine's. So I greatly appreciate it if you would bless my page. So this is like fabric mesh and it's got metallic in it. So it's really, really feels good. I like it. So and I'm trying to get some St. Patrick's Day things together. I think this is going to be um, the same kind of mesh here. And then I have this little sign that says lucky and blessed. And then I have these two little things to go with it. So um, I'm going to use that for something for St. Patrick's Day. So I just need to get some more ribbon. That's why I'm looking at St. Patrick's Day ribbon. Oh, okay. Okay. Absolutely. I know we don't even know what we're going to get. Hi, Annie. Hi, Kathleen. So, yeah, we have no idea what kind of weather we're going to get. I know there's a few of you on here that live in Illinois, so welcome to Illinois weather. We're supposed to get like ice and snow, I guess, again um, this weekend, and I'm on call. So hopefully God will watch out for me, <laughs> so I'm sure he will. So anyway, so how is everybody today? So I stayed up like super, super late last night, like early this morning, like I went to bed at 4 a.m. And I should have stayed up, but I was afraid <laughs> that I probably would not be safe <laughs> to drive. So I went to sleep, and um, I got up and I got my visits done. Then I got home and we ate supper, and I fell asleep. So because I still have to get stuff ready, we have to be at the hospital in the morning. So I still have to get some things ready. But, you know, it's like I'm on call this weekend, so I know that there's not going to be a lot of time for me to uh, to do a live. Let me do this first. Um, so, I decided to get on and do a quick live here. At least get this base done. I may not get all the ribbons on it. We'll see. And, um, I did last night. I got some stuff straightened out. I got more pictures taken of stuff that's not posted yet on Etsy. And um, I added some stuff to Amazon Handmade. So I figured, well, I made a sale there. I've had two sales there. So we got hurt to post some more things. So I posted some more things on that. So we're going to, this is burlap. And um, I just got this. This one I think was from Old Time Pottery, this burlap is. I usually get my burlap from Hobby Lobby or old time pottery. I like it. I usually use it does what I need it to do for the base. So or it could I may have gotten it from Joann's as well. I'm gonna have stuff all over me on this black shirt. I may take this off real quick here. Second, guys. No matter where I go, I have glitter anyway. Crazy. So, anyway, so that's, I'm doing these 10 inch poofs, and this is on a 14 inch Dollar Tree wreath frame I made myself. Hi, Carolyn. I have not made a single um, Valentine wreath yet, so this will be my first one of the season and then I've got some ribbon coming for the stuff that I got from Rachel so I was looking on craft outlet because like I said I don't have hardly anything for to make any St. Patrick's and I have stuff to make 
um, a Mardi Gras wreath, but I really don't have a sign, so I'm just debating on whether I may just buy a couple rolls of ribbon and just, I don't know, even just wait till next year to make a wreath. I don't know. I haven't really decided. So when is like Mardi Gras? March, right? April? April, right, right around Easter, I think. Gotta, but I know my friend Amanda made a Mardi Gras wreath and she lives down the road from me. And um, she sold the, it, it was a swag. She sold it while she, pretty much while she was making it, I think, so. Boy, this hair is not really wanting to cooperate with me either. Don't you just love seeing yourself on lives and you're like, oh, what happened with that hair? <laughs> I didn't spray it with hairspray or anything this morning. That's probably it. So anyway, so I, I'm backwards. I start on the bottom. A lot of people start on the top. Doesn't really matter. Whatever you like. When's the weather supposed to start getting bad? Is it supposed to start getting bad just on Friday or Saturday? I have to look at that because I'm on call Friday, Saturday, and Sunday until 10 o'clock Sunday night. So. You guys wouldn't mind blessing my page I'm trying to reach 3,000 followers and I also have a YouTube channel wreath addiction RN um, trying to grow that page to a thousand I got a little ways to go on that as well but I do have some tutorials over there and then some of the videos that I've done on lives are over there as well so if you're looking for something that we've done in the past you may be able to find it on YouTube as well so Friday in the morning Okay, thank you, Lynn. So, I got my box that I packaged up last night mailed out. So that went out today. Tomorrow's my son's birthday. 32, it'll be 32. So. so anyway, so I've got, I thought I had some material around here, so I was going to try to do some Mod Podge stuff. I am really like so unorganized so I actually am going to save up some vacation time and take some vacation time while my husband's working and actually just like get some stuff done just, just clean out stuff make make a couple of projects that week and then and work on this basement getting it organized and uh, I got I'm gonna have to do it before April because I gotta get my tax stuff ready so and I'm trying to be better about my tax stuff for this year, so I'll be more organized and um, studious, I guess maybe is a good word, with it. Yeah, so I'm not waiting until the last minute to do it or three or four months go by and try and do it. So, well, what happened? Why did we get lost? I just jumped out by itself. Uh, yep. It just jumped by itself. I don't know. Sorry, guys. I have no idea why that happened. But there's the wall. Um, really weird, huh? This is weird. You saw me. I wasn't touching it. So, <laughs> that was weird. I guess they wanted you to see my wall. I do have to get some Easter stuff out. I have some really cute Easter stuff. So, I don't have to really buy a lot of... Easter signs, so I have an idea for that frame that's hanging up up there, the two candy canes together, so I may actually do that um, soon. I'm probably only going to do a couple of 
um, St. Patrick's Day one, so that's why I want to look at my order. So I thought, I'm just going to get on a live, give my brain a rest so I can like put some thoughts together. Um, you know, the order will be there, it's in the cart. You know, if I if it gets sold out before I get to it, then I wasn't meant to have it in the first place. So that's the way I look at it. Hey Lee, how are you? I know that was weird. I know. I mean, you've seen it. I didn't touch that thing. It just decided it was going to go somewhere else. <laughs> oh, that was very strange. Very strange. So, um, very strange. Anyway, like I said, please sprinkle the love spread the love, bless my page, whatever you want to call it. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I did post something on there this morning that grew my page by some people. So I appreciate that. And everybody that was on my Facebook page shared it. And so. I'm like looking forward to having tomorrow off. Hi, Lori. How are you? So, gonna work on some more advertising stuff. See if I can't draw some more business to my Etsy shop. And then I, I was getting tired. I could tell I was getting tired because I posted that um, cowboy, um, the blue, burp, uh, the denim one. I posted it twice on Etsy. I'm like, see, I know it's time to go to bed because I didn't even see it on there. I'm like, I know I posted this picture, uh, this this wreath, because I wanted to like do some copying to um, Amazon, like just go to Etsy and copy it, my um, tags and things like that, and then just carry them over to Amazon. And I couldn't find it. I'm like, I know I did this, I know. So I went ahead and did it again. Yeah, and then after I did it, I'm like, oh, now I have two. Yeah, that was a day. I was like, okay, that should have been, that should have been my clue that I should have went to bed then. But I still posted another couple things. I need to post some more stuff on Etsy. Um, and that's the other thing I like need to do is go through my, um, everything that's hanging up and make sure that it is posted. And I'm trying to get better at that, like when I make something for sale, not a, uh, of course, order, but for sale that I go ahead and I list it as soon as I get it done. So that's the best thing to do, right? Hi, Tom. Thanks for joining Michelle, thanks from New York. Cortland, New York. Thank you. How's the weather there? Is that upper New York or where is that? So tomorrow night we have our church group. So I'm hoping that my husband feels well enough to go. But if he doesn't, I may leave him here and go myself. So, kind of be the first church group that I don't have to rush to after work. So, upstate. So, we have my husband had a childhood friend, a classmate that moved there like when they were, I don't know, 
eighth grade, he moved, I don't know, maybe he moved when they were in high school, but he moved to Syracuse. So we made a visit out there. It was actually like, let's see, Adams, 32, so probably, I was pregnant with Adam in May, so we went out there and drove out there. Oh, Scranton, North Carolina, thank you for joining. Hey, Maggie. So that post that I posted, like it said, um, talk to your top fans. So I thought, well, evidently that just goes to your top fans, but evidently that's not how that works. I don't know, Maggie. I just thought, I'm like, okay, well, let's just see who's in this top fan thing. So, but evidently that's not really how it works. So, yes, it went to everybody because people that responded were not top fans and not that I care. I was just like, what is this? And I don't know who, you know, who's a top fan and who's not. So, and it doesn't matter. I'm happy for all of my fans. It's some stupid algorithm that, oh, you're 45 minutes north of Syracuse. Oh, great. We went out there, like I said, 1987. We'll be 30, actually, yeah, 30, because we'll be married 33 years in March. So it was 33 years ago in May, May or June, that we went out there. And we went um, and seen, I do believe um, Kiss was playing out there somewhere at that time. We went to, we went to, I don't know if he was, I don't know if it was all a kiss or if it was just Gene Simmons. I can't remember. My memory's gone. But anyway, we went to some kind of kiss concert thing. <laughs> so, long time ago. We're old. <laughs> I can tell my husband's getting ready for bed. Had to take a special shower. Oh, really? But Facebook gives them and takes them away. Gotcha. And it's probably because I like took the pretty much the whole month of December off, except for just chit chatting with you guys here and there. So um, that's partly my fault, you know, for taking a little hiatus. I'm sure not being very active. So. Yes, his uh, surgery tomorrow is laparoscopic on his right knee, so hopefully it will fix the issues. But while he's laid up, I'm going to have a list of signs for him to make, or at least attempt to uh, cut the vinyl for at least, so we will see. Um, I'll show you one thing that I had an idea for. And... Uh, I am located in Illinois, Beneld, Illinois. We're like, I think it took us like 15 to 18 hours to get there or get home. We actually drove out there in two days because we stopped in Chicago. We w took a long way around and we saw my one of my high school friends and um, then we went out there through that way. So we went to Niagara Falls. So. Kind of just made a little long trip, you know. The weather like here, um, is normal. Um, 
the weather here tomorrow is gonna or uh, Friday is gonna be icy and today it was actually 50 some degrees but it's not gonna be that way tomorrow I think it's supposed to start getting colder tomorrow and then um, we're gonna supposed to have ice and stuff over the weekend so so I'm just praying that if we have bad weather that the boss says uh, just stay in don't go out so that's my prayer that's my prayer but anyway um you will pray that he's able to thank you. I do. I pray that too because, you know, it's he's got some arthritis in there. So, you know, the only way to fix arthritis pretty much is to have a knee replacement. So I'm just praying that they'll be able to do enough that he'll be able to get some, um, you know, movement back and not limp and be able to do stuff. Oh, cool. Do you? That was like so many years ago, Maggie, we were there. Um, and we were young and it's like, I don't know, we actually ended up getting on the Canadian side and had a hard time figuring out how to get back. <laughs> like I said, we were young, young, young. So, I don't know, if this has seemed to work for me. So, instead of just leaving this um, and then it'd be all uneven. I just take a pipe cleaner that I've cut in half and then I just twist it on there. That way the next time I start, um, and this will be enough for a small, um, a small reframe that I get from like, um, Dollar General, the 12 inch frames. Um, so that'll be enough for a 12 inch frame for sure. So, um, I like to do that. You leave it in. I did cut. I, you cut off. I cut off. I'm talking about my hair. I got my hair cut last Saturday. Yes. All right. So I feel. I mean, it's really been a long time since I made a wreath, guys. So I'm like trying to make sure what I'm doing. I'll go ahead and take this off so it doesn't keep getting caught. And. I'm actually going to buy some of the bags from Damon and put my stuff in the uh, umbrella bags. But until I run out of this, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use this. It seems to work pretty well. It helps keep it from catching on the other mesh that's in the shelf. So I like that. It didn't cost me anything. So I just lightly roll it whenever I do that. I did. I did cut my hair off. So, all right. So let's see. So I'm thinking. I'm thinking 20 inches. Looks like we need to fix this one. This feels really soft. It's really odd. It feels soft. So I'm just gonna even this out because you can see it's kind of frayed here. Let me move this over here. So this is kind of like frayed, so I'm just going to even it out. There we go. Get these guys out of the way. The bags work great. Yeah, I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do once I run out of this because um, I need something so that they don't get caught on each other. So we're going to go 20, I do believe. And let's see, we're just going to do the curl ruffle. I guess it's kind of the cruffle. Um, it's not the woodland ruffle because the woodland usually is longer. I think it's longer strips, like 35 inches. And this is only 20. So I guess it's kind of the same, but I think you get a bigger ruffle with the woodland whenever you have a little more mesh. So 
but that is going to be so cute. So, and then we're only going to put these in the um, long ties on the bottom. Which there should be six. So, what do you think? Cute. I like it. All right. And sorry, guys, but I don't have any of this cut. I should have, like, I said this kind of the spur of the moment live. I'm like, I need to go live. I need to make something. From start to finish so let's just cut some um, let me move this out of the way so you can see me I use my arm plus me I mean being down here which if I'm working down here that helps too but by me being down here and busy, I'm not going to eat, which is going to help me on my diet. So, and I'm on call this weekend. I'm hoping I get to go weigh in. That's my goal is to go to church and weigh in. So, hoping those happen has anybody made Valentine's wreath yet has anybody sold a Valentine's wreath yet I mean Valentine's is like right around the corner actually you know think about it one month two four well you try and hold the line equal you know it's going to not be perfect so just do the best you can it's okay it doesn't have to be perfectly straight get rid of some of the OCD stuff in our brains All right hey Rach how are you I have been doing good I've lost eight pounds so far on their scale I got on my scale today and this morning and I had gone down more but I'm only gonna go by what they say so I gotta keep going I keep being good so I have a lot to learn like Weight Watchers has changed a lot since I went back in 2000 and I need to take some time when I was doing it in 2000 I had more time to look up recipes and stuff like that and I worked a lot but it was a different kind of work when I got home I was done and you know so actually when I went back then probably never gonna believe this but I was a truck driver recruiter <laughs> thanks Rachel so I did a lot of um, I did orientation and teaching and um, getting drivers hired and stuff like that so that's what I did all right so let's see what we got in here I don't want to cut too many because we might want to do something different with the remainder so this is adorable I don't know where I got this but I love this I might have actually got this at old time pottery for some reason or I may have gotten this at Craig Bachman I don't know but I love it Super cute. Sorry for yawning. Yeah, I was up until 4 o'clock this morning. Just, thank you. Just piddling around down here. I took more pictures. I posted stuff on Amazon Handmade. I posted, I posted a wreath twice on um, Etsy. So then I just deactivated one. So, you know, that was fun. So, um, you know, because I got a lot of, um, I took some of the reasons my system was is that if it didn't have a bag on it, then I hadn't taken new pictures since I got my paneling up. So, so, um, 
you have uh, insomnia too, Annie. I know. I I just kept going, and then I, whenever you know, when you pass that point, then you just can't go to sleep. You know what I mean? So you either go when you're tired, or sometimes you lose that that feeling. So then, of course, when I sat down, that was all it took. I was out. And then next thing I know, it's seven o'clock, and I'm like, oh crud, I wanted to be out the door at seven, but I still was on time. I still started my day at eight, and which was good, so. So, I just kept pedaling around, and I wasn't tired, and so I just kept going and kept going, and. But of course, I should have known that whenever I posted two things on Etsy, that was time to stop. <laughs> so I did pretty much then. I put, I did order some stuff from Ranch House Craft Supplies. So, and I did put some, before I got on tonight, I did kind of put some things together to make um, Rachel's uh, two signs. And then I do have some, oh, I I'm trying to think what I'm going to do to make the trucks because I want to go ahead and make a patriotic one since my son's leaving in March. So I want to go ahead and make a patriotic one. And as all I have is like blue mesh. I don't have any of the red, white, and blue. Big, you know, 21 inch mesh. So I was putting some in my cart for a craft outlet. And then, then I just remembered I had that other mesh. So I don't know. Let me, I'm going to have to look at that and see. It's going to have to... I can't wait to make that truck wreath for the red, white, and blue. So. So I'm waiting on ribbon before I make your stuff, Rachel. So your Valentine's things. But as soon as the ribbon comes in, I'm gonna be making one of them for sure. I love them both. I don't know why I did that. I still have stuff up there. You're excited to see it? Me too. My puppy's name is Thor. Hi Thor, come over here. I wanna see you. Come here. I see you. Yeah. You're a big old puppy, aren't you? And then the little one gets jealous because nobody can see her. Um, you can hear him though. Hang on, Lucy. I'll show you. I know, you can't give one love without the other. Jealous, jealous. He's jealous of her and she's jealous of him. Everybody's jealous of everybody, aren't they? Come here, Luce. Come here. Everybody to see you? That's so. Here's Lucy. There's Lucy Lou. Yeah, she's the puppy dog I inherited. I know. I know. He is a boxer. Aren't you? I know. I know. You can't get it. I know. I know. I know. I know. All right. Okay. 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 I'm putting her down. I'm putting her down. Okay. Look. Move. Door. Back up. Back up. <laughs> All right. All right. That's enough. Now they're going to be just like siblings. Hey. That's enough. You heard me. You heard me. Don't talk about it. Don't talk back. Go on. Okay, if I ignore him, he'll go lay down <laughs> or go over there and play. They are. We'll see. So, Cloyd had to have, they're going to be stuck down here with me until um, I go to bed because Cloyd had to wash with some special soap. And the dog, uh, Thor is his dog. I mean, he's both of our dogs, but he's the one that wanted him for Christmas a couple, well, about six years ago. But anyway, so Lucy, shh. Um, so anyway, um, he can't, the dogs can't sleep with him. So 
So they're both going to be with me tonight in my room, So, which we sleep in the house room, but he sleeps in the spare room a lot because I sleep with it very cold and he can't handle the cold. So, so summertime is the most time that we sleep together. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm not kidding. He jumps so high. I mean, like, if I'm in the yard, he'll just fly by my face. Fly by my face. I mean, sometimes he actually almost knocked me down once because he just jumps and leaps and flies right by my face. So, I know. He's a sweet dog. I love him. I wouldn't mind having another boxer someday, but I tell you what. That he is, in which we probably, it's our fault because th these two get along okay, but, um... You can't bring another dog around. I mean, they're very territorial. Um, I don't know. So, like, nobody can bring their dog over. When my son and his wife lived here, they had a dog that was part Great Dane and part uh, Black Lab. And we had to make sure that, like, the doors, you know, like, because they lived down here in the basement. And we had to make sure the doors were shut, that they didn't, because they would stance, like do a standstill at the doors, and you could hear them sniffing and growling at each other. So, hey, stop. So, I'm sure that Floyd's already in bed, and he can't go in there, so he's got the door closed. So... So he's probably not a happy camper. So, because usually Lucy's down here with me. Thor's down here for a little bit and then he heads back upstairs. So. This is a big lap dog. I know. I love them too. They think they're lap dogs, but you know, like when we first got them, we were really good about, like, I mean, they've got beds all over the place, but they sleep on, they lay on the couch, they lay in our bed. And I need new furniture because Thor is heavy and he is like, takes up the whole couch. I mean, it's like a big dog bed for him. So. I'm hoping when we get new furniture, though, that we can kind of break that habit of them laying all over the furniture. So, I don't know. I, it is my fault. I started it. When I lay on the couch, I like them to lay with me, you know. But when I'm not on the couch, I don't want them to lay on the couch. Isn't that crazy? You know, because it's like, oh, man, the dog hair. Usually when I'm laying on the couch, I have a blanket up there. So, I guess I could put a blanket up there. And then Lucy licked the arm so much that um, it wore the threading out because it's like a material, it's not a leather couch or anything, so she wore the material out, so there's some snags there, but you know, it is it is quite, a, it's not new furniture and it wasn't the most expensive furniture to begin with, so, and that's kind of why I don't buy real expensive furniture because we do end up having our dogs on it. Um, yep, Molly takes up your whole sectional. I I hear it, you know. And I'm like, okay, can I, you know, lay down in bed or lay down on the couch or sit down on the couch? <laughs> so I think I only need, I need two more. So I think that's going to be so freaking cute, isn't it? I think. I think that's going to be okay. Hi Sandy, how are you? Move that over here.
So is anybody else having any good sales on craft supplies that I should go look at before I buy from Craft Outlet? Anybody know of any? I haven't even really looked at Sims. I haven't bought from Sims for quite some time. You said I should just, um, um, just save up my money and go down there, but that's not like a, just a trip to the store. I have to plan like days off and stay all night. When is the uh, Craig Blackman sale in the spring? Plan for that. Thank you. the last places um where was the last places i bought at well i did ranch house i did i ordered some ribbon there for it to go with the um envelope sign that i got from you rachel so i ordered some stuff from them last night and then um i think though i mean craft outlet is basically i haven't even really ordered from deco in a while i get the ribbon box from them every month i'm on that subscription mystery box every month um so that's what i get from damon um, I haven't been anywhere to even go look. Um, I think, I don't even think I've ordered from Sims since prior to the Craig Bachman sale. I think their 40% um, off actually ended yesterday from what um, LaVon told me. So I don't know if that's accurate or not, but that's why I basically shopped last night. So I didn't. I didn't uh, lose that. So I'm just thinking, what are we going to do? We're going to just like, put some tails around the outside and make a bow. I'm thinking that's probably going to be the best thing. I'm thinking this is going to be in the bow at some point. <laughs> February or March I need to save up some money uh, yeah I saw that he was doing that what, as he still was is it $65 is that what I saw for the de-stash boxes I could probably steal one of those myself <sighs> I have lots of stuff I need to do some de-stashing. So let's see. I don't know. Like this, is, this is kind of. So I got this from Hobby Lobby. It was in their Christmas section. You're not late. That's fine, Katie. Thanks. Oh, she thinks she's extended her sale. I'll have to look at some more stuff from there. I think I looked at quite a bit of everything. She didn't have... I couldn't find any um, St. Patrick's Day or... I think that was the main thing I was looking for. Or Mardi Gras. She didn't have any... It didn't show up under those titles anyway. <laughs> Let me see. Let's see, let's see, let's see.
think I got this in a as a free roller ribbon from Scott's, possibly. And he was doing his opening. Oh, you saw it to pay shipping. Oh, here or something. All right, so ribbons have been my downfall here lately, trying to like figure out what I want to do with ribbons. feel like this is the right color. I feel like this is more of a burgundy. What color do they call that? It doesn't say on here, but I'm pretty sure he's got that like in the red section. That's more of a burgundy. More of a burgundy, so I don't really want that one. Who does the best mystery boxes? I don't know, I haven't seen any of Scott, so I just do Damon's right now. Um, and I've liked everything I've gotten from him for the most part so far. So um, we did get a lot of uh, great ribbon, you know, at uh, Halloween. So let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and cut one. It's the only way I'm going to know if I like it or not. And I know this is going to be at 12 as well. So. So I have not, like, I need to probably look through Decal Exchange because I think they always have some good stuff too. And I'm sure Scott does too. But I need to go down there and look at his shop because I'm not going to pay shipping. And I just live down the road from him, but I just don't have time to get there. And I think he changed his Saturday hours. What do you think? I'm going to use this in the bow, I think. which it doesn't really matter. Get too picky sometimes. Sometimes I get too picky with my burlap colors, like the beige. I want them to match pretty well. And this one's lighter. I don't know. I'm too matchy-matchy, as some people would say. Starting to get cold. I shut my heater off and took my sweatshirt off.
think this is going to be. Hey, Kathy, how are you? Long time no see. You're a busy lady. Busy, busy. So, has anybody else got anything on Amazon Handmade? I actually, I don't know if they've changed their thing, but I was really happy with, um, like, because I posted some um, wreaths there last night, and it was way easier than it had been in the past. So I'm like, either I'm forgetting a step, or they've changed something. So anybody else on Amazon Handmade that's in Lori's group that's on with me tonight, or anybody else that's done Amazon Handmade? Because I'm like, man, that's like, I couldn't believe it was super simple. Like, I don't, there was no place to put tags. Is there a place that we're supposed to put tags? <laughs> hey, I know that. I fell asleep too. And my husband says, are you going to go downstairs? Because I turned the heater on for you to surprise you whenever I replace the propane. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I am. So... And I came down here and I watched Lori on her live make Rachel sign. Super cute. God, that thing is cute. And then um, then I decided to come on a live and finish to make a wreath. So, one, two, three, four, five. I think I only need five. Because that one's six. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. So, you're welcome. I did too. Well, I actually got a sell there, Kathy. I'm like, it uh, went ding on my phone, and I'm like, what? I had a sell on Amazon Handmade? What do I even have on there? I only had, I had that wreath and one other one <laughs> on that site. Yeah. So, I thought, oh, okay. So, I thought, well, I might as well go ahead and put some more out there. So, I did, but... There was nowhere to put like SEOs. So I'm like, am I missing a section? Because it asked me to do a description, so I did that. So I don't know. I was just kind of confused. So and I'm probably not going to be able to get on the Zoom call this week because I'm on call on Sunday. So yeah, things are kind of changing around here for my the way things are working because I go to Weight Watchers on Sunday now and. So it's kind of hard to get on the Zoom call and do Weight Watchers. So I definitely can't do the Bell Sunday. So, but that's okay. I can always watch the recorded ones, and I do on those anyway. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm missing it. So I don't know if you get on there ever and look. I was gonna ask Lori. I may send her a message because I know she sold something recently on Amazon Handmade as well. So I may just uh, send her a message and ask her. So, and then I'm trying to get, like I wanna like dress up, you know, like I put makeup on and be like a real person and do my video for my YouTube, um, like introduction. And I'm like, every time I get dressed up, then I get sidetracked about what, what it is. So I don't do that. That's okay. Oh my! Oh my goodness, Kathy. And <laughs> wow. So, family staying because of a bad situation? I hope not, but gosh darn it, that's it makes it hard. I've had my kids live with me. I know how hard that can be. One, two, four, one more. Yep. My daughter-in-law happened to be um, off all week, so that kind of worked out for us that we didn't end up having the boys this week, too, so. So, yeah, craziness. I can see my fingers are turning blue. That's how cold I'm getting down here. <laughs> my circulation is stopping. Probably just need to go and turn that heater on. Oh, vacationing. So, 
So um, my daughter and son, my daughter-in-law and son have decided to take the kids on a little trip before he gets deployed. So they're going to um, Great Wolf Lodge and they let the boys decide what one they wanted to go to. So they are going to Arizona. So I'm like, oh, I'm so happy for them. It'll be great weather. They're going in March. Should be good weather for them there. It's a seller. Uh, is the app for Amazon Handmade? Is it? The, yeah, the, the, the Amazon Handmade is what it is. Um, seller app. You have to apply for, you know, to sell there. Um, I did it a long time ago whenever we started with Lori's group at the very beginning, um, like what, back last November, December, a year ago. We've been in a group already with Lori now, so. So, yeah, so she walked us through how to do that. I did actually have a, uh, oh, I hate when that happens. Um, I did actually have like a, um, affiliate link, but because no one ever purchased off of it, it got shut down. So I guess that's fine. I'll reapply later, but maybe whenever I get some, some real followers and stuff, people might want my stuff, go there for stuff. So. Oh, well, that's good. Good that you have good relationships with your families. Absolutely. And I mean, I'm a mother in law and I want to see my grandkids. So that's a good thing. It's a good thing they want to be there. So. Alrighty, one more. Hi Jonathan, how are you? How's your business going? Are you still working full time too? I think I asked you that before, but I can't remember. <laughs> oh, thanks. Well, I probably have smudged mascara today because I really rubbed my eyes when I got home today. I was tired. I stay up till four o'clock in the morning, just piddling around here, working on stuff. One, two, three, four, one more, five. So right now I'm just putting them around the edge and then we'll see how that works out. And then I may just cut, you know, one or two to put in the center, but I want to do the bow. So that's going to be the main focal point of the center along with the sign. So, so I don't want to, to cut a bunch of ribbon, especially since these are smaller rolls um, that I may not be using. So but I am liking the way this is looking already. I don't know about you guys, but I like it. So if you guys haven't already, I would greatly appreciate it if you would bless my page. And if somebody, Rachel or Kathy, if you could do that, or Jonathan to our groups, I'd greatly appreciate it. And to some of the other groups that, um, like Carla's group and I don't even, I have her thing, but once in a while it'll pop up, but then I can never find it. So I need to like get that added into like my favorites so that it comes up. Wow, look at you, a photo shoot. Oh, aren't you snazzy? I bet those will turn out good. That will be awesome. Let's fix that one. What happened there? Hopefully it's somebody that knows you and they're going to give you a good deal on the price, huh? There we go. 
I don't either. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know it either, but I saw her come up. I think it was last night when I was scrolling through and I'm like, what group is this? And I saw that Bev was in there and, you know, had somebody had shared Bev's there. And I'm like, I don't even know about this one because it just doesn't pop up that much in my news feed. Like, I have so many craft things that pop up in my news feed. I don't even see what's going on in my friends' lives or anything. Thanks, Rach. Um, yeah, so. Hmm. So I have to decide whether I'm going to save up to go to Sims or if I'm going to save up to go to um, Craig Bachman. I guess, really, um, Craig Bachman's not too bad. I can, I can just make me a budget for Craig Bachman. Sims, I don't know about a budget. But I know, Jonathan, you're doing great. So happy for you. Okay. Let's get these out of the way and let's see what we got. I need to just start doing lives on YouTube and growing that page. Just gotta start doing it. I can tell the difference just since I took December off. I can tell a lot of difference in my numbers since I took December off. So that's probably not a wise business move, but I really had to do it. So that hopefully next year I'll be in a better place and that won't have to happen in December next year. Right? Right. So this one doesn't really matter what side's what the same on both sides. I don't like that. Um, I type in, uh, I type in Amazon handmade and then it asks you if you want to become, um, apply to be a seller. I really don't know if they open, I don't think they open the warehouse, do they, Rachel? When are you coming to Illinois, Kathy? When did you say you'll be in Illinois? When? I lost your thing. When you're going to go, well, you need to let us know because I just live like three hours from Rachel and we need to like plan a, a get together. A little meet and greet of our own. So let me know. And Rachel too, I'm sure she would be ecstatic we could meet together. That would be awesome. So, if you have time. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Growing is painful, right? So, yeah, I'm sure I will. It's just, I was getting some better numbers, but it's okay. It's okay. Maybe everybody's not back from the holiday either, right? So. Just want to make sure I do my two lives a week. And then I want to get on YouTube, so I need to do that. I just don't know how to do, like, I need to look, go through those teachables again because I want to figure out how to add, like, the supply list and, you know, like, tell the description and all that stuff before I do it. So, look at that. Oh, 
Okay. You just let us know. I mean, where is he at in Illinois? I guess up by Chicago. Otherwise, you wouldn't be wanting to go to Craig Bachman, right? Up in that area. So, yeah, I'm always up for a road trip. I drive all the time, so driving that is nothing. Um, I just like to, st I stayed all night up there whenever we were going to Craig Bachman because I wanted to be, I didn't want to be tired to go to the sale, so. And I stayed in a nice little hotel. It wasn't bad, it was just down the road from there, not too bad, so. It was nice, and then Rachel and I went out for lunch after we shopped. Yeah, me too. There's so much information on YouTube, you just, I don't think people realize it. Oh, Peoria is great, yeah, but, but still, absolutely. Peoria is not that far from me, about two hours. I live on Interstate 55, so you would take 55 to, uh, I can't even think of the name of the road now, but yeah, it's not too bad. What way do I wanna go with this one? I guess I'll go this way. I'm trying to keep the letters, the wording going the same direction. But this one's at the top, so it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Well, I think some of the last ones, I don't even know if I got to all the training at the very end, so I need to go to that link she posted. I just wish I had time. I mean, I'm so envious of people that don't work and that can like, you know, plan like a business day. Like this is the day I'm just doing business. I'm not, um, this is the day I'm just gonna order and this is the day I'm just gonna do this. Absolutely. Yep. I definitely want to meet. Yeah, that would be awesome. All right, so let's make a bow. So. I love this. I'm going to have to buy more of this. I like it. I like it, like it, like it. I could just go five because that's not very wide in there and I don't want it to overpower the sign. use this on my um, scarecrow wreath yeah this is awesome stuff I'm gonna have to buy some more of this and use it more yeah I know you know it's like I just, I mean, I do it all. I'm like, I'm the shipping department. I am the bookkeeping department. I am the order department. I am the stocking department. <laughs> I am all the departments. I'm the creative department. I'm the design department. I'm the, you know, clean it up department. <laughs> and, and then I'm also, you know, like I'm barely the wife department, um, but you know, I'm the nurse department. I work full time. And so it's hard, like, you know, I do beat myself up because it's like, I should have, should keep up on my bookkeeping better. I should keep up on this better. I should keep up on that better. It's very, very difficult. So I'm not gonna V those or anything because that's not really what you do with that. So. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yep. I mean, I'm not kidding. We don't have enough space for all the hats we wear, do we? Whenever you're trying to build this business, you know. And I know Lori said, you know, she just made a day. I just, I don't know. It never, never goes the way I plan because my days just don't go the way I plan. So I don't know, do I want? I may just leave that one out and just do this one. sure I have enough ribbon to do this. I may have just enough. I have another roll, but I really don't want to open a roll to finish a loop. Yeah, ta-da! My hearts are upside down on this side. Oh, too bad. Too bad. So sad. I don't know, what do you think? Think love shouldn't be upside down? I wanted to just make a loop in there. Yeah, you're not, you're definitely not the only one. I really wanted it to just be a loop that so it didn't cover, so it would cover the, uh, so it would cover the tie. I guess it doesn't have to. I can always get something in there. All right, so I don't know if you can see this, but because the, there's wording on this one, I know my hearts are upside down on that one, but I'm not going to mess with it. Um, but I don't really want my loves to be upside down, so I'm going to basically just make this like so, and cut this even. So you're just gonna stick it in here like so, stick the other one on top of it like so. And then, so I did that one about four and a half, four times. Let's see. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. There goes my ribbon. So this is out of my way. I guess 
you know, um, our successes are going to just be that much sweeter because we know that we just put in, a, I mean, everybody puts in a lot of time, but I feel like that, um, oh, that's going to drive me crazy though, but I feel like that, um, oh well. that the people that, you know, get, that just have, you know, that just do this full time, it, it's so much, I feel like easier for them, maybe not easier to grow, but just easier to spend the time on it. Because I know that if I wasn't working full time, I would be dedicated down here every night working on this, you know. So, I've never been good with it this way. This has always been a challenge. I know it's like I um, I'm trying to do my two lives a week because I don't want to not be in Lori's thing that I'll probably never win anyway but it's like that's the only thing that's like keeping me um, what's the word I want to say that's the only thing that's keeping me loyal to like getting down here every night because like that chance that I might win <laughs> that chance that I just might win and um, and I know that that's what I need to be doing to make my business grow, you know? So, so therefore, you know, I'm like, okay, got to get down there, got to get down there, got to get down there. And uh, it might be in the other box. So, you know, so that's like the only thing that I feel like, I guess, that keeps me accountable to myself and to the commitment that I made to myself for this business. I don't think so. I think we'll go with just the red sparkly. I think we'll go with the red sparkly. Really? I love Rachel's signs too. I can't wait to make that one, that's for sure. Actually, both of them. And I have some Christmas signs. I feel really bad that I ordered Christmas signs and then I didn't even get to make them. It just It was just crazy. So, I don't know about you guys, but it's like, I like getting orders. I love it. But it's like, right now I got orders and I'm like, okay, so now I don't have the supplies for the orders. So then I'm going out and buying supplies. 
and you know I don't know so you know it's like I try and keep in a different array of supplies on hand but I do personal orders or custom orders I guess you could say so and you gotta do what you gotta do until you can get it going <laughs> I agree. You're right. It's going to work. We can do this. It's meant to be. We're we're in our we're in the right place at the right time with the right people. Just have to not worry about what other people can do and just focus on what we can do, right? Right. did it again. Man, I hate when I do that. Zip tie that tight. And guess what? Guess what? No pipe cleaner. Ugh. Oh, well, I'm probably not going to be able to get this one through there because that's tight. So, I'll just do Lori's trick. I'm gonna do, Kathy, we should do her sign in, in July, Christmas in July, we should do her Santa sign then. You do one and then I'll do one, or vice versa. We'll do it in July. So we'll do, that's what my plan is, is to do her sign for Christmas in July. I think that'll be awesome. What do you think? The one with the Santa? Don't you think that'll be great? I think so. I know, Lori is awesome. Yep. I'm thinking, I'm planning on Christmas in July. I haven't really put all of my Christmas stuff away. I mean, I've got it in some containers, but normally like stack it somewhere, but um, I'm just leaving it out because I'm going to be dragging that stuff out in July. And I didn't make that many in July, so I'm just gonna like repost some of my other stuff that I made and then make some a few new ones. So, yeah, so be ready, Rach, because in July, you're going to be making some Santas, right? Absolutely. All right, well, I was bad. I mean, I was good on my diet, but I didn't work out today, so that's a bad thing, but... I stayed on my diet. I didn't give up on that. So I have gone up and down the steps several times today. So, and I did walk around one of my buildings today quite a few times. I made, I made like intentional extra moves today, extra steps today. So that, you know, just because trying to be more like active during my day as well. So. You always forget about Christmas in July. Not me. Not me. Okay, so what do you think? What do you think of the bow? I know that. I probably that's probably gonna drive me crazy with that. Upside down hearts, but oh well. Just tell me it's okay. It's okay. I made upside down hearts all the time before I ever realized that really I shouldn't do it. So and they sold. So just, you know, right? It'll be okay. It will be okay. It's cute. It will be okay. <laughs> it's like you say, quit beating yourself up. It's fine. It is fine. Some people don't even know the difference. Right? Right. Okay, let me move this out of the way. I actually completed a project. I will actually get this posted tonight. Won't that be awesome? So um, my pipe cleaners that I have in here, I will twist them a few more times and then I will use my um, cutters and I'll cut them off in the end at the stem. So, and then I'll tuck them. So and I'm thinking this is the way we're gonna go with this. I 
I probably could have went a little longer with that, but that's okay. Oh, thank you. You've seen Thor again? Yeah, he's like, why are you still down here? I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> that's cool. I can barely do a squat whenever I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm getting there though. I am work. I got some. I mean, like I bought some leg weights. I bought some resistance bands that I work on my legs, and I'm working on um, my flabby arms. So I'm not just doing the exercise bike. I'm doing some intentional like workouts with weights, so that I can try and get some strength back into my my arms and my legs. You have your next, what to do squats while you're doing them? Is that your next YouTube video? <laughs> so let's see. All right, so there's that. Now we're going to attach this. And I'm kind of thinking black might be the color that we need to use. So I see these. I've been at Dollar Tree a million times. Oh, the Peloton. Yep. Isn't that the isn't that the machine that there's so much controversial over? I don't have a Peloton. I have a little Cheap thing I got off of QVC, it was like $150. So, let's see. I can go back and look at videos from when I started making videos last year at Christmas in December and look at me now and I can, I mean, it's apparent I put on a ton of weight. So, but I got started and Weight Watchers is going well. I've lost 8.2 pounds my first week, and then I weigh in again on Sunday. Hopefully I get to weigh in. If not Sunday, then I'll weigh in on Monday. Um, I won't go a week without weighing in. Because that's not a good thing. I like going a week without don't doing a live, right? Alright, so there's those two. Let's see. <laughs> I hear that. I hear ya. Yep. Yes, that's for sure. I always cut this way too long. I don't know about you guys.
よはい。I do not know what you're hearing. Are you barking at Lucy? He's upstairs. I just love that sign. I love it, love it, love it. Now you got Lucy barking. See what you did? And there's nothing out there but the wind, probably. The wind's probably kicked up. So it's making noises out there. And he's having a fit. So I'm just taking this wire and I'm um, guiding it through with my little needle thing. It's amazing. I go too much further I'm going to twist this pipe cleaner that's underneath here a few more times and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it because once I get the sign in place I don't want to have to try and dig my hands under there Kathy, that bunny butt you made is so cute. Did that sell already? Are you getting in sewing then? Sewing and making some wreath pieces? Because that was adorable. Good night, Jonathan. Thanks for joining. You can't even see that wire there, so I think it'll be fine. Super cute. Are they in your Etsy shop too? Or are you just making them for yourself? I thought you. I thought I read in there that you said you were going to be selling them, so I was just curious. I don't know if I want to do that. I might want to pull this one up a little bit and make this go down back here. Give it a little bit of hiding in the wire a little bit more. So I can tell you, I am the queen of like changing my mind. So, um, so I cut that pipe cleaner off of this one right here, and I'm thinking that I might want a ribbon in there, but I'm not worried about that because I will take, um, I will take, uh, I'll put my ribbons together, and then I'll get a piece of pipe cleaner, and I'll do them on the outside, and then I'll attach them anyway. So, you know, nothing's set in stone. As far as I'm concerned, you know, you can always um, fix it. So, fix it the way you want it. But I might want a ribbon there. I haven't decided yet. 
We'll see. I might move this one over so that it can fluff this up. So that it covers that area. You know what I'm saying? So that it doesn't look so bare there. Because I don't want it to be like overpowering either. So we'll see. But that's kind of the thoughts. All right. So I'm going to hold this like so. And I'm going to come back here. I'm going to find my wires, wherever they may be, and um, I'm just going to not pull them real tight because I don't want them really like the sign mashed into the wreath. But I have to make sure that it's going around a bar. For me, I like my stuff attached to a bar. So I'm just going to pull it a little bit. That's cool. I had a friend give me a sewing machine. I have not even like taken it out of the thing yet to see. I just really want to be able to show, sew some straight lines to be honest with you. That's what I want to be able to do. All right, so let's see what we got. Let's see how it looks. Let's flip the bow back out. I feel like that one's too tight already. See, these are too tight. But I want some red underneath there, so I may have to pull that out. I may have to like pull it. Because I didn't push it, I didn't tie it real tight. There's like the fine line between um, like loose so it's not smashed and then too loose so it wiggles, you know. And then just pulling it gently enough to keep it like that. Okay, so I think that one's better. Now I need to just do this one. think I could draw anything on paper and then make it a pattern. I don't think so. Alright, so let's see. Better, better. Thor, quit whining.
Thank you. I just, I think it needs a little something on some of those ties in there. Maybe not every one. But I'm thinking this might be just what it needs. Just a little bit in there. I said I told you why. I already cut the ow. Thank you. Just debating on whether I'm going to put another one up in here, which I don't need that because I already got this. So I'm thinking like one here and there. I think that might be good. What do you think? I kind of want it curled like that, so I need to like make my, I need to make my thing. Thank you. So on the ones that don't have a tie at all, I'm just going to twist these more um, a couple times and I may just uh, turn them around the bar and tie them or you can just use your pliers and you know cut them off. So these are the short ones. Every other tie on the bottom. So that's what I do to tidy everything up. And then I will um, tidy the wires that are holding the sign on as well. And it will be ready to post. So, super cute. I like it. Thanks everybody, I enjoy you guys, thanks so much. Thanks for the therapy, everybody, Rachel, Kathy, Annie, everyone. Um, it was a little, it was our own little therapy session. I appreciate it, um, and again, you're right, it's so nice to like come together with, in a smaller light group like we are right here, to just so, show support for each other, and I am here for you guys. I know, Kathy, you and I don't talk much. Rachel and I do talk quite a bit, so thank you. Oh, good, Rach. Nighty-night, sweetie. All right, guys. Um, I shall talk to you tomorrow. Love you all. Thank you so much. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Bye.